Each year, Nextar's 199 television stations donate their time and energy to a community service project. We call it Founders Day of Caring. This year, we partnered with Bay County Animal Control and Operation Spay Bay to host a pet adopt-a-thon. As News 13's Emma Riley tells us, a lot of pets found their forever home today. Cats and dogs at the Bay County Shelter got a chance to run and play at the Adopt-a-Thon. Some furry friends even left the shelter with a new owner. Bay County Animal Control Administrative Assistant Serena Junger says their goal is to find the animals a home as quick as possible. We need to move our adoptions um, to give us more room for additional animals to come in. Once our facility is full, then we have to ask the people to hold on to their animals a little longer until we have some space. Every animal that's adopted opens up another space for, for another animal to come in and, and have that opportunity to go home for adoption. Junger says they receive about 30 new animals at the shelter weekly. Operation Spay Bay Vet Tech Maxine Cornett says events like this are a chance to educate people on the importance of spaying and neutering their pets. Please, my neuter, we euthanize, registered euthanasias in this country is about 50 million. We euthanize way too many pets. It's really important. Spay and neuter, spay and neuter. All these babies would have homes if we just spayed and neutered our pets. The cost to adopt a dog or cat is $25. That includes spaying or neutering, vaccinations, microchipping, and flea and heartworm treatments. Before Friday's Adopt-a-Thon, the shelter was full with over 50 animals. About half of them found their new forever homes during our event. In Panama City, Emma Riley, News 13, Panhandle Straw. It was a great day. People adopted a total of 17 pets, 12 dogs, and 5 cats. If you missed out on the Adopt-a-Thon but would still like to donate to the Animal Shelter or Operation Spay Bay, go to our website, mypanhandle.com.